Hi, you guys. This is Prophet of the Sabrina Acapo, and I am back again via the leading of the Holy Spirit. As with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the Spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth this word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, and with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, mighty name that I do pray. Amen, 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 amen. Title of this prophetic word, you guys, is You Are Becoming a Master an expert in a wise builder. You are becoming a master, a expert, and a wise builder. So you guys, building actually came to my mind upon finishing up intercessory prayer and the Holy Spirit began to speak. You are becoming a master, expert, and a wise builder, and even a chief Builder, just as your father being the chief cornerstone. Holy Spirit is saying you have become skilled building a house that will stand. A house that cannot be divided. A house that is built upon a rock. Even a rock solid foundation. Holy Spirit is saying you have captured the essence of solidifying what it takes and all that it takes to build a steady and a firm foundation. And these are all the components of a kingdom builder. This also makes for a good inheritor of obtaining land as well as promise. 1 Corinthians 3 and 10, according to the remarkable race of God, which was given to me to prepare me for my task. Like a skillful master builder, I laid a foundation and now another is building on it, but each one must be careful how he builds on it. Building your house on higher ground, solid ground, and level ground is very important. Not a faulty or a shifting foundation, but a firm foundation and not one tossed to and fro, but on a ground of elevation. So you got to make sure it's good ground. Proverbs 14 and 11. The wise woman builds her house on a foundation of godly precept and her household thrives. But the foolish one who lacks spiritual insight tears it down with her own hands by ignoring godly principles. Holy Spirit is saying, build a house that is unified, undeniable, and that will set your soul on fire, a, and one that is sustainable. One of creativity and one as well of reliability. A house that's built upon an artistic, discerning, and experienced builder that has a finishing spirit. The Lord is saying, what you start, you will finish it. Because he is the God of what he starts, he will finish it. And he has placed that spirit in you for that spirit of completion. Someone who can lead as well and lay out the blueprint along with the roadmap and planning that will stand. You 
are becoming a master builder with imparted architectural details, a house of steadfastness. A house of steadfastness. Excuse that. Hebrews 11 and 10. For he was looking forward to the city that has foundations, whose designer and builder is God. Herod was a great builder. Paul was a master builder. Jesus was also a master builder for most of his adult life. He was a carpenter. We are his builders as well, building the kingdom with an impartation of gifts that was placed by him on the inside of us. You are a house that is built upon a rock that is rock, that is a rock solid foundation, causing you to become wise, an expert, and a master builder on a free flowing, continuous and steady flowing that cannot be shaken foundation. So the cut, the rock, the materials, along with the land. Holy Spirit is further saying, you are a detailed builder. He's making you to become a detailed builder. And the last scripture that is in relation to this prophetic word is Philippians 1 and 6. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it out to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Where he starts, he finishes it and he finishes it to completion. You are becoming a master builder, an expert builder, and a wise builder, building a house on a rock solid foundation, and even a house that is built upon a rock by your chief cornerstone, placing the impartation on the inside of you, himself. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. I pray that you were able to get the rhema words of exactly what the Lord was trying to say with the type of builder that he is looking for and he has made you out to be and he has placed that impartation on the inside of you for the whole world to see all down from the artistic details all down from the creative details all down from the detailed and architectural designs the lord had you in mind when he placed that impartation in you because he knew he could trust you to finish what you started into its full completion you are becoming a master expert as well as a wise, wise builder building a house that has been built upon a rock that is rock solid and that will stand on a continuous flowing land by your all-knowing one, Master Jesus. Thus said the Spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Let these rhema words permeate, absorb, flow, and saturate because some of you are about to be homeowners. Some of you are about to be building houses of God. Some of you are about to be receiving impartations on the inside of you because the Lord is wanting you to build his house. And he is definitely, through these rhema words, 
giving you details along with specifics, along with blueprints, along with guides, along with roadmaps on exactly what it is that he's wanting you to do step by step by step instructions so you can make it through by the master builder and build on a land that will be solid and on a land that will stand knowing that Jesus is that chief cornerstone. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. Until the next one, you guys, once again, I love you guys. I'm constantly praying for you and may the Lord richly bless each and every one of you and see each and every one of you guys through to the greatness of success of God's best knowing that you are a master builder. Inherited the trait from the chief builder, Master Jesus. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.